And we're starting off tonight with a look at the latest census data and how that information is going to impact communities across the Midlands. According to the latest census numbers, there was growth in South Carolina, but not in all counties. News 19's Devin Johnson has a closer look at how one representative says not participating in the pan, not participating in the census because of the pandemic has hurt Orangeburg County. Numbers from the 2020 U.S. Census show South Carolina grew nearly 11 percent from 2010 to 2020. That means less state funding for 35 of the state's 46 counties. Orangeburg County is one of those counties that will receive less funding. Orangeburg County Representative Jerry Govan believes COVID played a major part in why more people did not participate in the count. There are several of us who challenge that and feel that's not totally accurate uh, because of this count being done during the middle of the pandemic. Representative Govan says rural areas are going to miss the money, unlike the 11 counties that did grow in population. He says towns depend on that money for improvement into infrastructure or other services. I think a number of the areas probably uh, were put at a disadvantage, and uh, particularly in rural areas uh, and, uh, of the state. Uh, which, which basically you would need that more, that more of an on-the-ground effort in terms of being able to find and count those individuals. State lawmakers did put in place a new program to offset some losses in slow-growing counties. Govan believes different efforts like physically going to those areas with lack of Wi-Fi access needs to be ramped up for the next census count. Uh, we have a lot of municipalities, uh, towns, uh, uh, that uh, that need those funds that could be impacted. I mean, you look at education uh, in terms of um, looking at uh, roads and bridge repairs. Uh, you know, it cr it cuts uh, across the board. For Street Squad Orangeburg, I'm Devin Johnson.